Good morning guys. Today was a smoothie day. I have really been into drinking smoothies and been taking a little coffee break in the mornings because after I have a smoothie, I'm like, I don't really want a coffee right now, you know? So I've been drinking smoothies. It is so early. I just woke up an hour ago. It's 8.20 right now. I woke up at like 7.30ish and I was like, let me start vlogging today. Nice and early. I haven't vlogged early in a while. So I wanted to do the unboxing with you guys. So I got three things from Tatcha. They were having a 20% off sale on their website. So I got three things. I got the Tatcha Violet C Brightening Serum, which I will be trying right now with you guys. I have nothing on my my skin it feels and looks dry because I have nothing on my skin Ooh, it's really pretty packaging look how beautiful it looks so cute very fancy let's put some of that on Ooh, it's a very like watery I got two giant pimples here that are like hopefully starting to go away they're getting flat I just have like to deal with scarring right now this feels really nice on my skin then I also got the Tatcha Indigo Overnight Repair, which I could have done last night, but I didn't open the package. And then this is really what I wanted. This is the Dewy Skin Cream. I got the big one. I got like a sample from this from Sephora. And oh my God, my skin had never felt so soft and like hydrated that I was like, I need the big one of this. And it's super expensive. So I got the big version because it was a 20% off sale and it has a little spoon and the lid like you can just use to scoop out your product which is really cool oh my god the consistency of this is insane if you guys have ever tried this and you know exactly what i'm talking about but the consistency is absolutely insanity it's so smooth and soft that feels amazing on my skin i feel like it gave me like a glow and then last but not least for sunscreen i'm going to use the lorish Jose SPF 70. I got this one at Target and I'm gonna take about a pump and a half and put my SPF all over my skin. I washed my hair last night and I slept with it in two braids as you guys can see. I wanted to do like a little updo hairstyle today because tomorrow I'm gonna be doing my treatments to my hair in preparation for my haircut and color which is happening on Sunday. Today's now Thursday so it's coming up very very soon so I'm so excited so I just put my hair in these two braids I want to do like a little updo I like a little snatched hair today and a makeup look and then we're gonna be running errands today guys I have not food shopped in so long so I want to go to Trader Joe's with you guys I also want to go to maybe Starbucks we'll probably stop by Starbucks to get a little sorry guys my memory card got full but I forgot what I was saying <laughs> I use like a hair butter for my hair so that it looks nice and shiny. It looks so good though. So I wanted my hair to have some kind of texture in my bun. I did like twist here and then braid in the bottom because if I do twist all the way, my hair will fall out and it was not going to hold it. So that's why I did twist and then braids. So I'm going to be using my Tangle Teaser Ultimate Styler Brush and I want to give a huge thank you to Tangle Teaser for sponsoring today's video. I love Tangle Teaser and their brushes. This brush in particular, it's great for styling your hair when it's already dry. So this would be a perfect time for me to show you guys how I use the Ultimate Styler Brush from Tangle Teaser. Here's an up close of the brush. It has all of these soft and flexible teeth that never snag onto to your hair and they won't pull it or anything like that and I'm gonna use it to smooth out the top of my hair so that then I can go in with my gel and that will just help smooth everything else out so let me bring my hair up and then I'm gonna use this tangle teaser brush to just smooth everything out to make sure there's no bumps no lumps no humps no nothing but this brush is perfect for this because again there's no pulling no tugging as you can see let me adjust the camera okay guys had to adjust the camera you guys were 
weren't seeing all of my hair but what I was saying is that this brush is perfect for it because if you can see it's literally not pulling any hair it's just helping to smooth out my texture I kind of want to do it fairly high today I don't know why I like a really high bun so we're gonna take it and do it pretty high I'm gonna take some gel to further smooth out my hair and make it as flat as possible so that there's no flyaways and stuff like that so can we see like there's literally no bumps sometimes when I do my buns and I use like a regular brush there's always like bumps and with this one I was able to get a smooth ponytail this is the point where my my hands this is the point where my hands start to give out because I have so much hair now that my ponytail is on, I know it looks so funny, but now that it's on, I'm going to split my hair into two and I'm going to use the Ultimate Styler Brush to smooth out my hair because I'm going to do two twists on both sides. I'm going to go ahead and brush out the hair. As you can see, there's literally no tugging. And now I'm going to go ahead and twist each section. And because I brushed out the hair, it helps elongate it so my curls aren't so tight and I can get a little bit more length, which is going to add some volume to my bun, which is what I want. So I'm going to go ahead and just twist it all the way, all the way to the end. And then I'll add a little rubber band and I'm gonna do the same exact thing on the other side I'm gonna take the chunkiest one and in the direction that I twisted it in I'm gonna go around and bring it like this I'm gonna take a bobby pin to secure that and then second piece same thing Look how pretty that looks already you guys take it twist twist all the way around kind of make it tight so that the bun can stay upward and then I'll kind of just fluff it out a little bit because I'm doing it kind of tight so fluff it and I'll just fill in the little gaps can you guys see that and it has all the different textures in it baby hairs are now laid and I feel like the look is finally complete well I have to do my makeup so what do we think about the look I love it I will be linking the tangle teaser ultimate styler brush in my description box below if you guys also want to snatch it up and use it on your dry curls whenever you're doing like an updo hairstyle if you're using the Revlon brush it would be great whenever I would use a Revlon brush I'll definitely use this brush to maybe look loosen up the curls or to just brush out the curls before like maybe retwisting them and doing antoitas and stuff like that I will definitely use this brush it also comes in different colors which I will also link in the description box below if you guys want to also check it out it was literally perfect for this hairstyle I am slayed laid and we are snatched let's move on to makeup <laughs> I'm laughing because of the way Mia was just staring you guys, I forgot to tell you, today is Mio's birthday. I have a two-year-old, guys. I have a two-year-old boy. But we're celebrating his birthday, I think, next week because I was sick. And so I didn't get to order all of, like, the stuff for his birthday. And he's, like, birthday photo shoot. So stay tuned for that because we're going to do it together. And then Milo's birthday is at the end of this month. But my birthday boy is today. Oh, I love him. I'm going to say hi to the peoples. You want to say hello? Say guys, I'm two. I'm a two-year-old. Yeah, you want to say good morning, everybody? See, I was taking a nap. You were taking a nap, yes, you were. And then Milo's gonna be three, guys. I'm gonna have a three-year-old, guys. A two and a three-year-old. Right now they're twins. They're both two. Ew, you lick your pee, pee and now you're licking my face. That's nasty. That's nasty. <laughs>
here's my little casual OOTD. I have these jeans are from Zara. T-shirt is from, I think it's like Walmart or something. Shoes. Pretty little thing. And this bag I always get questions on. It is from Marshalls. So that is my casual, super chill OOTD. We're going to go ahead, walk the dogs, and then get some coffee. Back home now, literally sweating my butt off. This table, I have to build it. That's why it's there. But I'm going to be going to Bars and Nobles. I figured for like a few hours, it's still only 11 o'clock. So I have some time. I'm going to take my laptop with me so that I can get some work done over there. Let me see. What else should I take? I'll take my charger. I usually have like a little bag, but today, like, I haven't worked anywhere else in so long that i'm just like what the heck <laughs> what do i take i have this bag that i want to take while i'm like at trader joe's and like starbucks and then i have this bag for when i go to barnes and noble to get work done so first stop is barnes and noble because there's a starbucks there and then i can get some work done for like an hour two hours i just have to edit like a video and then why is everybody turning this way so confused everybody's going this way but then there's like a cop at the oh because of car night i'm gonna be listening to the new maverick city music playlist uh the album with kirk franklin i have been listening to it and i really like it my favorite song is kingdom and bless me those two are my jam so literally every time that i'm in the car i'm always listening to it and even at home when i'm like getting ready so <laughs> Thank you so much. No problem. that was a super productive time i'm so proud of myself you guys it is now three o'clock and i was there for like three hours super productive i edited a video i answered emails i need to do this more often because in my house i get so distracted with the dogs with the cleaning with the organizing i need to leave my house at least twice a week so that i can be extremely productive because i feel so accomplished so it's 3 15 right now i am gonna go to trader joe's let me put the address we're only like 12 minutes away that's great and i also got a notification from amazon that a shelf that i got for the patio has been delivered so we're gonna go build that for the patio i'm still waiting on my patio furniture haven't gotten it yet there's like some kind of delay but i did get a shelf that's gonna go in the patio and we can build that and then i also want to stop in petco to get my um, meal like a little not a cake because he didn't really eat the cake last year and neither did milo so i'll probably just get them like a little ice cream they had the ice cream so we can pick something up for them and like a squeaky toy or some kind of toy for him to have today it feels so weird that we're not celebrating his birthday today but it's fine next week we'll celebrate it so there's actually a marshall's here and i think i'm gonna go in to get the squeaky toys first so that the cold the food doesn't get cold oh man there was a parking right over there i should have gotten that one. Oh well there's a few of them but yeah i'm gonna go into marshall's real quick to get my boy a little toy and i gotta get milo one too because you know i need that person i don't want to leave him out you know relax anyways there's a marshall's here so i'm gonna go to marshall's really quick get them a squeaky toy and then i'll go to trader joe's since it's right there
ਇਹ ਦੇ for a Trader Joe's haul. Two bags of stuff. I'm gonna make this, whoa, I'm gonna make this super quick. I got these floors. Aren't they so cute? I want to like brighten up the living room. Oh, by the way, before I do the Trader Joe's haul, I got two things from Marshalls. I found this really cute dress, you guys. Look how pretty. It's like a really long, I'm tall, so it's gonna fit like right under the knees. I thought it would be cute with some like sandals or sneakers and stuff, so I got that. And then I also got some like kitchen towels because we need some in the kitchen. Okay, Trader Joe's haul. Got two of these yogurts. They're so good. Probably have one now. Got my greens for my salad. Some bananas. Brioche bread for my cuisine. Some brown eggs. I have, oh, I got some dog treats, you guys. These are dog treats. I wonder if the dogs are gonna like them. Let me give them one. Boys, you want a treat? Do you want a treat? <laughs> treat looks like this is obviously locked. Hey, what was that? I'm oh, here. A treat. He's not interested in it. He wants the toy more than the treat. Y'all, they are not interested in this treat whatsoever. I have the picky as dogs. They are more interested in their toy right now. But yeah, I got them treats even though they don't want right now. Got some fresh strawberries, blueberries, avocados. Oh, I got this. No joke ginger shot. And then I also got a mighty turmeric shot. I've never, ever, ever taken these before. And I've been wanting to. So I got one of each flavor to see if I like it. And then I got some carrots, cucumber. I love to eat cucumber with tuna and the everything but the bagel seasoning. The perfect snack. Speaking of, I also got the everything but the bagel seasoning because I didn't have from Trader Joe's. I had like from a different brand. Bag number two, I got some corn, which I will be doing probably today. Just throw it in there. I literally got three packs of hash browns, you guys, because they have been sold out at our Trader Joe's for months. Like, I don't even think we've had hash browns this entire year. And these are like $2, $2.49. The best hash brown. I like to eat them with avocado, like avocado toast, but on a hash brown. So good. So we got three of those. I actually think I'm gonna heat some up now because I'm starving. I got some frozen chicken wings, hot and spicy. Also got some fries. I don't know why I was feeling risky. So I got some fries. Then I got some chicken. These for my husband. The Kobe Jack cheese. Ground turkey for my husband because he likes that. Just got some shrimp for my husband too because he likes the shrimp. That was all my Trader Joe's, Trader Joe's, Trader Joe's haul. I'm going to put all this away. I might make some chicken wings with fries. That kind of sounds good. So this is what the shelf ended up looking like. It was like kind of like a miniature version of the ladder shelf that I had here. And I ended up actually swapping it. So this was originally gonna go outside, but it's too small for the outside space. And I wanted something a little bit bigger, but I ended up putting it here. I don't know if I love it yet, but this is what this one looks like out here. This is my leaning shelf that I love so much. It's so pretty. And so I want it over here to like decorate the wall and like put some stuff. And even if it rains, it's fine. This will be covered by that. I can't wait to get the other sets to show you guys everything. Mm -hmm. 